Hi guys, another charity shop gold or garbage. Picked up this little electric car, road rippers, in the charity shop. That would have been St Peter's Hospice, 99 pence. Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. Copyright Chrysler Group, LLC. 2011. Made by Toy State. And I picked it up because at first glance it looks like it's radio controlled. We've got clearly an electric motor in there and some sort of steering. But what it is, when you look closer, in there is the end of a piece of wire, a piece of cable. This is another one of those wire controlled ones that goes forwards and backwards. When it goes forwards the steering straight and when it goes backwards the steering turns. Now I've done a couple of these, in fact I think I've done a few of these over the years, but the most recent one I converted to radio control. I think this one, I'll just see if I can repair the wire and rig up some sort of hand controller so we can control it forwards and backwards. All right. What I've got here is a battery pack that comes out of a different radio controlled car for that matter. It's got six AA batteries in it and I modified it quite a while ago just so I could use it as test leads. So on one side I've got three AA batteries and on the other side I've got three AA batteries and I've also got a centre tap taken out so that I can either use all six or three and three. And I think just for the fun of it I'm going to use this to control this just by connecting different wires to the pair of wires that are going to come out the back of here. So I guess we ought to take it apart and have a look. Okay, yeah, there we are. Electric motor at the back. I can't really see. I can see, but the camera probably won't pick it up. But it's wired and it goes straight down there and out of that hole. So I'm going to have to undo these screws just so I can solder some fresh wire onto that motor. There we are. There's the gearbox. Falling apart a bit because I've just... Ah, let's lift that out. So we've got a gear on the back axle, an intermediate gear. It sits down there somewhere and then the pinion gear on there and there's our two wires that have been cut off short. Well that's convenient. I've got some bell wire I think this is called. that. Right. that gear back in place.
Okay, so we've got a central wire, and if I go that way it goes backwards, that way it goes forwards. That'll do. We'll put the lid back on. And we'll go and try it out. See if we can do this so you can see what I'm doing. So, battery's one way, car goes backwards, battery's the other way, car goes forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. success. So a very simple way of doing it. We could have made a switch up to do it, but I thought I'd demonstrate it as simply as possible. So th the three batteries on this side of the pack are connected to that terminal and the centre terminal, and the three batteries on that side of the pack are connected to the centre terminal and that terminal. So that's positive and negative or that's positive and that's negative. So plugging in there we get positive, plugging in there we get negative. 